My name is Rochelle Neal. I'm the director of Shine Girls and I've been with the program for three years. My name is Leslie Groves and I'm a sixth grade counselor at Virginia Beach Middle School and I've been working with Shine Girl for one year. I'm Kristen Silo. I'm the eighth grade counselor at Virginia Beach Middle School and I've been working with Shine Girls for four years. So with it being my first year working with Shine Girl, we made the selection process based on students that maybe were at the level of needing some self-confidence boosting, um, working on some social skills, different things that maybe we'd encountered with meeting with the students. And it was amazing just seeing them in the first session. We've only done one session so far, but the students that I had spoken to Rochelle about um, that I thought needed the most confidence building and probably weren't going to participate, how they came out of their shells and just amazed us that first session. So the three attributes that we really deal with when it comes to the girls is their worth, their strength, and their purpose in life. You have these girls that come into the sessions that really don't have dreams or aspirations for anything in life because sometimes they don't even think they could even be doctors, pilots, and so we, we do the dream boards, we tell them to just go for what they know, that there's no limit in whatever you wanna do in life. And so to see them at graduation, talking about like they wanna be labor and delivery nurses, that they want to go into the Air Force, that they want to be pilots, and that's something that in the very beginning when we talk about what they wanna do, they don't even have dreams like that. So having a program where we get to go and plant seeds, and plant seeds in deep, you know, and people come to water and till the soil that this is stuff that I feel like at the end of the day, like, is really going to change their trajectory of, like, what road they can go on. In middle school is such a transitory time where there's a lot of changes going on with these young ladies that they need something. And we can certainly mentor them from our capacity as school counselors, but having Shine Girls come in and kind of go the extra mile really does help these kids, and they really need any help they can get in becoming young women. I think it's really important that we have people that give to Legacy to really understand that without them, we wouldn't really be able to do all that Wave City Care does. And I think it's even more important because, like at the end of the day, they're not in the schools. They don't, they probably won't see the kids or even meet them, but to really know that it's beneficial to these young people who are eventually one day going to be adult people. But to be able to give to that is just amazing. 